So now for the last layer, it's a matter of reducing these um, edges over here. So the reduction of this is actually something that we could have done at the same time as putting these two in, but I elected not to because it's, it's really not that difficult. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very similar technique uh, regarding the reduction. So let's take a look. So how this is going to work is I'm going to take this, I move this here and you can see that if I move this in like so, it's going to reduce it, which is all fine and well. But I'm going to replace it with something from this side. I'm going to go one, two. I just got to be sure that whatever I replace it with is not going to be an issue and this one isn't. And I also have to remember to move it back when I'm done. Well, to move it back correctly. Like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is move this in like so. Move it up. One, two. Move it down. Then this moves back. Move this back up here. One, two, which is the other way. And then I can now just start moving things back. This goes here. Well, actually... This one here first, I think. This goes here. And this goes here. Okay, so basically what that did is that put this one in over here. Now let's see if I can do the next one, which I can. So I'm going to move this here. Oop, actually that's upside down, so that's not going to work. I'd have to move it in from here. So what I want to do is, keeping this where it is, I want to take this and move this to here. Move this side to here. Um, by doing my Sunni variation, this will stay the same and this will stay the same. I want to get this to move out to over here. So I'm going to move this like so, so these two can stay the same and this will rotate around. So R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Okay, and again, R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Okay, no, yep, maybe, who knows? Well, yeah, I gotta get this uh, to here. Do it again, R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Oh, okay, here it is. So. I'm running into trouble because this will not come into here the way it is, which tells me that this is upside down. I have to turn this upside down. Because if I move this here, well, I have to move this, well, nope, yeah. I can't seem to coordinate it where this is on the top to match this. So we're gonna do F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So from there, and this, if this moves over here, this can move over here, and this can come into where it needs to be. Blue here, blue here. But what I want to do is I want to take this. Actually, this has to move here, and this moves here. So I really want to move this closer to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Still fairly far from where I want to be. R U R I U R three U R I. Okay, this can move here and this can move here. So this will move where it needs to be. Moving it twice will mean this will move in and this is not in yet, so that won't be a problem. Well, actually this will move into here, so this will move in. And this is these two are in, but this one is not, so that won't be a problem. So move it in, go up, one, two, and then go down, move this back, go up, one, two, which brings that back into here, and this simply goes up like so. So now this has been, so now this has been reduced. So remember, I'm, I'm moving it in from here. So I'm gonna try to get two in. And I think I have these two over here. So let's move the other yellow one in, which is over here. So if this moves down, this yellow one is going to move over here. So I would like to move this one to here if I can. So keeping it here, R, U, R, I, U, 
R, one, two, three, U, R, I. And again, R, one, two, three, U, R, I. Okay, that way these two can come in and I can put it where it needs to be. I go one, two, and I see that this is not in yet, so that's safe. So move it in like so, move it up, one, two, move it down, this comes back, move it up, one, two, to bring it back. And now this comes up over here. So I've got this in, I've got this in. Now, I don't wanna put more than two in because I need three to do three cycling. So I'm gonna be juxtaposing these guys here. You can see these are in, but it's not right. Um, I can't do a Red Bull to turn this around over here, so there you have it. So I'm gonna to try to put things in in the proper way. So if I move this here and I move this here, this green will end up here, so that's not what I want. Uh, what about silver? Will the silver go in? This will come here, this will come here, and again, this will be in the wrong area. So what I need to do is I need to turn this upside down in conjunction with this. So F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So if I turn this here and turn this here, you can see now that this, well, you'll see now that uh, it's still nothing. Well, maybe the pink. Nope. All right, if I move this here, and I move this here, this pink will end up here and end up here. So this can move where it needs to be over here, but it would be better if this ended up on this side over here. So if I hold this to here, I wanna move this to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, for you, R, I. Okay, did that work? Yep, this can move here and this can move here, which will move this in. Now bear in mind, one, two, if I move this in, this is gonna be taken out and I don't wanna do that. So although I like the fact that this is in the proper configuration here, I don't like this being the one that's in. However, with the Sunni, if I hold it like this, these two won't move, and I'm gonna try to move this into this spot over here. One, two, actually this spot over here. So I wanna move this into this spot here. R, U, R, I, U, R, three U, R, I, and again. Three U, R, I. Okay, now that they're all in, this will come here, this will come here. I'm gonna move this like so, turn it up, one, two. Now this is in, but it's not. Uh, well, this is in place. Move this down, bring this out, move this up, one, two, to bring it back. And now we see what we have. This can come up to here, and this can come up to here. Nope can come up to here and this can come up to here okay so it should be pretty easy to figure out so this is in this is still in I have one of these that are in now I don't want to put the other pink one in as of yet but now I can maybe start working on putting the correct ones over here so if I move this to here and this to here the correct green one can come over to here one two so I don't want this here so this will come back here, this will come back here. So I like these two, but I, I wanna move this one to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, three U, R, I. Two, one, two, and again. Three U, R, I. Okay, so let's see if this will work. We'll move this down here and this down here. Oh, actually, this is gonna move in from here. So I actually need to move this to here. R, U, R, I, 
U R three U R I. Okay, this will come to here, and this will come to here. One, two. Nope. Try that again. R U R I U R three U R I. Okay, let's see if this is it. This will come here, whoop, here, and here. One, two. Okay, this is wrong because when I move this down, this is going to be taken out. And I don't want to do that because this is going to move into this position. So the only thing I can think to do then is I've got to turn this upside down. But I don't want to affect these guys. So if I hold it here, these will stay the same. This will turn upside down. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So I want to get a similar association with these. So once again, move this here. And moving this over here. Actually here and here. Here. Okay, this will move into here, and if I go one, two, no, this is still wrong. Turn and turn. This has to turn upside down. Let's try that again. F R U R I U I F I. Okay. Uh, so let's see how that's going to work. This will come here. This will come here. Okay, I changed the configuration a little bit. So this will move into here. But now this has to make it to this place over here. These two can't change positions. Okay, so getting it around to here, if I move this down, and I move this down, this can move into here. However, I need to get this up to here. So as long as I've got these next to each other, I can hold it in this position and keep doing my SUNY until this comes to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. So is that going to work? Well, if I move this to here, and move this to here, I'm going to go one, two. This isn't going to work because it's going to move down in this direction and this is going to get nailed. So what does that mean in terms of strategy? Well, what it means to me is that this has to turn upside down in order to make this work. So to make this turn upside down, this is going to be right side up. This isn't going to, these two aren't going to change, and this isn't going to change. That's that arrowhead. So I'm going to do F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. That did turn this upside down. Now we have to look and see what kind of a configuration we've given ourselves. This is still in the same configuration. And once again, we need to move this to here. So doing the SUNY will keep this the same. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Once more to get this to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Okay, now we can take a look and see if this is going to work. So, once again, this will come into here. 1, 2. And now you can see when we replace it, this is now facing the correct way. So, let's go ahead and do it. We move this in. Move it up. To you, move it down. Now this is taken out. Now we move it up to UI. That moves everything back. This comes to here. I have to carefully remember what we did. This comes to here and this comes to here. Nope. Okay. We just have to uh, remember what we did here. Yeah. And okay.
Okay, so this is done and this is done. I put these in and this is in. This is messed up, but that's okay. We're going to take that out. We just have to coordinate it to we, we just have three that's out. So I'm almost going to do something random here. This down and this down. And that way that'll pull this out and then I'll move this over to here. This is a little bit of a dilemma because uh, I got to get this out. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the real one in, I'll put another one in, two will be in, and two will be in. So well, let's see what happens. So basically I'm going to move this one in, but I think I might have to turn it upside down first. So what if, what if I move this over here and I move this over here, this will come in and then I'll end up probably solving this, uh, which is okay to start off with. I'll just have to do some wheeling and dealing. Um, so I need to move this to, well, yeah, so if I'm going to go like this, I'm going to have to take this and move this to here. R U R I U R three U R I and again R I U R three U R I. Okay, so that means I'll go like this and I'll go like this. I just want to bump this out, so I'm going to move, move this like here. Splat. Move this up. One two. Nope. If I do that, I have to turn this upside down. There's no getting around that. So here and here, turn this upside down. Um, that's going to be challenging. So let's move this out of this position because if I do this, um, that algorithm, these will stay the same and these will be flipped. That's not what I want. So what I want to do is I want to move something else into here. So that's going to be R U R I U R three U R I and now I can do it to flip this F R U R I U I F I these stay the same this has to move here R I U R one two three R I and again U R I U R one, two, three, all right. Okay, why did I do all that? I don't really know anymore. But what I'm gonna do is move this like so. Good night. Move this like so. All right. Gotta actually move this to here. R U R I U R three R I. And again. All right, okay. So what's my game here? Well, if I move this here and I move this here, now when I go like this, this won't be destroyed. So we're gonna move this in, move it up, one, two, move it down, move it back. In, one, two, to get this back, and now I'll move this up over here. So what was the end result of that? Well, it's true, I put this one in, this one in, and now this one is in, which is not what I wanted to do, but it allows me to reconfigure a little bit. These two are in. I need to get a sacrificial lamb, which is actually coordinated now with these guys. So I'm gonna move this here, and I'm gonna move this here. And now I can take this and move this into here, like so, bang. And now I can really use any one that I want. So I'm gonna move this up, one, two, move this down. Destroy this one, sacrificial lamb. Now move this up, one, two, uh, to bring it back. And I'm going to move this here. So at the end of the day, I have these two in, one out, these two in, one out, and these two in and one out. So now I get to coordinate a three cycle. Um, this moves here. What's a good three cycle that I can coordinate? Well, this can move here. And this can move here. 
blue will end up here and here. Okay, so what I want to do is I need to move this guy away from here. So R U R I U R through U R I. Even if you're not sure where they're going to move, you're just kind of reshuffling things a little bit. So this will come here. And this will come here. So really, I need to move this away from here. R U R I U R three U R I. Okay. Once more to get this to here, I think. All right. U R three U R I. Okay. Now, why did I do that? I did that so I can move this here. And I can take this silver and move this here. This silver can come into here. But I gotta be sure that when this silver moves into here, I'll go one, two, and I, I can't move this one in. I've gotta be able to move this one. One, two. So this has to be where this one is over here. So let's go ahead and get this back. This comes here, and this comes here. Now alternatively, I can go like this and like this, because I want to keep these next to each other. If I go like this and like this, I have to move this one to here. So I'm going to hold this in this position until this guy can move to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. And not yet. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. That should do it. Okay, so let's see what we've got. This moves here and this moves here. Once this guy moves into here, all right, let's calculate a little bit. This guy actually has to move here. All right, U, R, three U, R, I, not yet. All right, okay, now we'll try it. So this moves here, this moves here. So this can move into here if I go one, two, you can see that this will end up coming to here to come over to here. So this is now coordinated. One, two, okay. So let's just go ahead and do it. This moves in to fully reduce this. We go up, one, two, and then down. And now we take this and move this back like so. So now this is reduced. Now we go up, one, two, and I'll bring it down. This comes over here, this comes over here. All right, so what happened is that these all are now reduced, so these are fine. What I need to do is apply the same strategy to these guys over here. So I'm just gonna move out by one. So we used this side here, now we're gonna use this side. These are reduced and it's exactly the same process to finish the reduction. So I'm gonna focus on one, and uh, let's see what we have. We've got this and this, but this is not coordinated correctly. As a matter of fact, I don't even think if uh, it's rotated correctly. If I go here and here, I'm liking that this will end up here. And if I go one, two, this is not in yet. So we're, we're good with that. So we're gonna move this in, move it up, one, two, move it down, bring this out, up, one, two, and then bring this back. Okay, so this is fine. Now we're gonna put the other yellow one in if we can. This will go here, this will go here. All right, so this will move to here. One, two will mean this will move down. I gotta get this out anyway, so that works perfectly. So move this in, which fully reduces the side. Move it up, one, two, move it down. Get this guy out of here anyway, like so. Then move it up, then move it the opposite way, bang. Okay, so this is fully reduced. Now we can do one more. Any that's already almost in? Nope, that's fine. So why don't we focus on this and this? Because that will bump this one out. One, two, we don't like this here because we spent so much time getting that one in. 
So let's keep these two next to each other. R U R I U R three U R I. And without getting too much into detail, let's go ahead and see. One, two. Yeah, this is out anyway, so that's fine. So we're gonna move it in, move it up, one, two, move it down, move this back, move it up, go one, two the other way, and now we find our way back home. This will come here, this will come here, and this will come here. Okay, I think we can put the other pink one in. This will come here. I gotta move these next to each other. R, U, R, I, U, R, three U, R, I. This will come here and this will come here. Once this comes in, it will be replaced by this one. We don't want that. So let's move them back. R, U, R, I, U, R, whoops, three U, R, I. So once again, we have this here, we have this here. One, two, this will come in, which is no good anyway. So move this in to reduce it, bring it up. One, two, bring it down. Bring this back, move it up, go one, two, the other way. And now all we need to do is start moving things in, but we gotta do it correctly. So this goes here. This goes here, and this goes here. Okay, so this is in, and this is in. So now we have to coordinate these guys. All right, I move this here. This silver can come into here nicely. One, two, and we really got lucky because this will come down to here, and this is not in. So we simply move this in. This is now a little closer to being reduced. Move it up, one, two, move it down, plot that back. Move it up and go the other way. All right, start moving stuff back. Okay, so we should be coordinating three right now. We don't want to get this fully in, but we want to start working on this. I move this up here, I move this up here. This blue can come here. One, two, we got to get this out of the way. One, two. These are next to each other. We have to move this to here. Our U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. So this is the payoff phase. This is the challenging phase. This is what we wait for with these puzzles. The last layer, where you're fully restricted. Okay, this is here. Let's see how this is going to work. Here to here. Once we, we move this into here, 1, 2, this will come in, but this is wrong. This has to be turned upside down if this is going to work. So to make that go upside down, the uh, this and this will stay right side up. This will go upside down. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. So just how that algorithm works. It's this arrowhead that stays right side up. These go upside down. So now with this being upside down, let's take a look. This will go here. This will go here. Um, well, I think what we need to do then, holding it here, this has to make it to here. Nope, actually, I think we're good. Oh, no, nope, we're not good. This has to make it to here. R, U, R, I, U, R, three U, R, I, and again. Three U, R, I. Okay, so now this goes here, this goes here, and if I turn this in, you can see this is now on the right side. This is this will work because that one's not reduced yet. So we're going to move this up, move this here, one, two, move it down, move it back here, one, two, and now let's get this back correct. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Okay, let's take a look at what we have done. Um, a little more than I wanted to, because this is fully reduced, this is fully reduced, this is fully reduced, and now we have these three. I can't do a three cycle between two edges, so I'm going to have to use a sacrificial lamb, which is what I could do. So if I move this, this down, whoop, and this down, doesn't matter which one now, I'm going to move this in. 
Well, actually, nope, that's the wrong side. That's the wrong side, so we'll take that out. So, in actuality, I have to turn one of these upside down. Because for this to come in, this has to be like this. Which can happen. I guess what I have to do, though, is I have to move this away from here. R, U, R, I, U, R, 3, U, R, I. Okay, so with that said, I can move this here and move this here, so that'll work, I think. So this moves in here, move it up, and it doesn't matter which one, one, two, it's this one, down, move this in, move it up, one, two, which brought these guys back. So I should be in full three cycle mode with three different edges, this one, this one, and this one. All right, we'll move this here, we'll move this here. So this will come to here, one, two, and this will come here. This will move down to here with this one being the one that'll be moved, which is perfect, that's what we want. So this, this will come in to be fully reduced. Move this up, one, two, move this down, bring this back over here, which fully reduces this. Bring this up, one, two, to knock it back and that'll put this back in. So you can see what we've now done is all of these are fully reduced. So what you can recognize is we now have the last layer. Everything is reduced. All the edges are reduced and all the centers are reduced. So we end up with exactly the same position that we would have been if we did a full reduction type solve as opposed to a layer by layer. So that's really it. That's really the only difference. Now we just go ahead, we've got this arrowhead here, flip this, F R U R I U I F I. So now they're flipped up. This and this are in. Hold it over here. R U R I U R 3 U R I. And keep doing that until all the corner edges are in. And they are. This is in, this is in, and this is in. We just do R I D I R D. I got lucky with this. D I R D. Move this over here. R I D I R D. R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R D One more turn and there you have it for the first time a fully layer by layer by layer by layer by layer by layer by layer solve of a Terramix um, which in my mind the bigger these puzzles get for me, that's a much more uh, a much more fun way of doing it rather than the normal exhausting complete reduction. The layer by layer allows you to think a little bit more laterally. You may come up with different strategies to, uh, for different layers, possibly some more efficient ones. But I highly recommend it. And the Shang Shao Terramix is a perfect puzzle to do it because it really is an excellent moving puzzle. So you can kind of whip around with the movements very well. Anyway, if you do want to see a layer by layer of the Petaminx, or if you want to try that yourself and you happen to have this puzzle, give it a shot. Thanks, thanks for watching.